Welcome back to the Predator World Championships. This is the junior division, the under 19s. For this match, we have Fu Huan and Carl Natterberg. Huan is from Hong Kong, Natterberg is from Estonia. Natterberg coming in at a 717 Fargo. Not much information about Huan online. Um, this is a loser's qualification match. 24 juniors started. The final eight will. Uh, advance the single elimination elimination stage of the tournament. So far on the winner's side, Mika Van Berkel has gone through. Dominic Yastrab, Claudio Cacci, and Paolo Bogosuski. So this is to qualify for the final eight. Looking forward to a good match here. It's a race to seven, alternate breaks. This is Eric Horlifson, joined in the booth by former World Nine Ball Champion, Daryl Peach. Yeah, same as you, Eric. Don't know too much about these two players. Natterberg's pretty high up in Fargo. He's a 717, which is very strong for a junior player. I don't know Juan at all. Little off, starting off with a break from the middle, a little off square, almost got the one to go. Natterberg's gonna have the first chance at this rack. Might have to draw out of this angle, which is tough. Actually could play one rail out to the middle. Solid stroke you put on that ball there. Probably has had some mentoring from Dennis Grave. Real strong player from Estonia. So the rest of the rack's lining up pretty good. Very little cue ball movement. here and still go two rails forward to get a little bit closer to it. Might have to draw straight back, but he's too straight. May even be able to just play one rail. Yeah, had enough angle to go one rail. Game pretty straight, so limited with what he can do with a cue ball. But didn't need to do much when the seven's waiting. Eight ball waiting in the side. Have to move the cue ball a little more than he wants here. Back up to the short rail. Natural angle though, should be okay. It's a little straight, he could choose to roll it in as well. With the offensive route there. Yeah, nice and positive start, this. Yeah, you always want to avoid slow rolling the ball if you can. Kind of just gets after it, too. Rhythm player. Yeah, so nice run out there. No issues. And uh, takes a 1-0 lead. Race to seven. The junior, <coughs> excuse me, the junior races are on the shorter side. Every game's important. Beginning of the match can really dictate how the rest of the match is going to go. Nice to see all the sponsorship, even on the junior players. Got five patches going on there. Lots of support going on around the world.
Hong Kong has a national federation. The players are supported by the government. Developed players like Loho Sum, Robbie Capito. Snooker is also a big game in Hong Kong. Marco Fu is over there. Yeah, I've always found in the past most of the Hong Kong players, they do have some sort of snooker background. Mm -hmm. Usually quite quite solid fundamentally. English influence. Technique wise, yeah, yeah. slightly, yeah. You can go after this ball, might have to slow roll it. You'd like to be able to hit it hard enough to go to the short rail, but the cue ball could be tracking too far to the right. Tough shot, decided to play safe. I believe there's a gap between the four and nine. Might have to try to play the cue ball behind the seven here. I think you could only only see the right hand side of the one ball. A little bit fortunate there. Yeah, kind of left it near the pocket, but and save seven ball saved him there. What do you think here, Eric? Firm? Yeah, kick yeah. save. Try to stick the cue ball near the seven. Yeah. Send the one round down towards the nine ball. Yeah, lots of speed, kind of like a stun hit. And then let it go. See the sponsorship on his back there, Hong Kong Sports Institute. A little bit of an experience there, I feel. Yeah, I mean, just got to be more aggressive at it. Rack's like pretty good for Nata Burke. Two, three, four all near each other. Fives over the pocket. Expect him to get through the first five balls for sure. going to be a two rail draw from the six to the seven. Yeah, I feel like you've got you to make sure it comes out from this five. Ball, so, so I just come sliding past the eight ball, really. Yep. Left spin killed the cue ball a little bit there. It's okay though. It's a three, typical three rail forward option or two rail draw. The shot comes up a lot. I think I'd favor the draw, Daryl. What do you think? Yeah. In that situation, just because the tens a little bit near that bottom rail, but it looks like he's playing the three railer. No, he's playing the draw. Under hit it a bit. Still on the seven, but gonna make position to the eight a little tougher. I think that's the only thing when you're playing that draw shot. It is easy to leave it short, whereas a three railer, it's. It's line position, isn't it? Cue ball's got more energy in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 
little out of line here, but he can fall forward softly. If he wants to hit it more aggressively, he can stun, stun follow forward. Hmm, must be too much angle going to the left. He's gonna he's gonna play the other pocket. Yeah, there is a bit of angle going to the left. Nice recovery though, he's back in line now. Haven't seen too much of food, just the just the one shot. But Natterberg's looking strong here. Takes a two nothing lead. Gonna be Foo to break. Foo's going for a timeout. And we'll take a quick break and be right back. It doesn't matter what the format is, the better player will still win. His 10 ball to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion. champions Just waiting for food to return here. The women are getting down, the women and the men are getting down near to the end of the tournament. Chei Yu Cho just beat Seming Chen 9 7. Let me get some results for you here in a second. Jessica Centennial had a 9 0 win in her. Final 16 round. Allison Fisher beat Pan Xiaoting. Xiaoting hasn't played a international tournament in a long time. Still, still near the top, made it to the final 16. Weitsu Chen, one of the favorites in the field, won 9 2. Rublin Amid and Christina Zlatev are in a close match. Amid is up 8 6. Pan Yu, one of the favorites in the tournament. Khalil Kibirglu, 9 4. Pierre Pia Filler and Sylviana Liu are six all. Wang Wan Lin and Kelly Fisher are seven all. Never heard of Wang. All the players from Taiwan are solid players. And on the men's side, we have 16 left as well. Shane Van Boning still in the tournament. Eklan Kachi is still in the tournament after having about four months off after an accident. He's still, looks like he's back in top form. And Fu is back in the arena here and will be set to go in about a minute. It's gonna be Fu to break. Mm, 
So an unusual early timeout. Comes back, got the break. Needs to make something happen. The side rail breaks and we get great overall dispersion of the balls. One just missed. But Natterberg's gonna be back in with a chance here. Yep, nice opener, nice angle on the one also. That nudge on the nine helped. It's gonna have some work to do from the four to the five. A lot of work, really, because the six, seven, ten are blocking the natural paths that he would want to take to get over for the five. Yeah, I'm just looking if the five passes the seven up into that top corner. Mm -hmm. That's that an would option. Help. And and then if you don't get quite nice on it, there's a nice hook waiting. Yeah. I think that's what he might end up playing, just below it. Play safe behind that wall of balls. Yeah. Just got to negotiate these. Few ball, a little tricky shot into the side here. Yeah, blind pocket, very missable. Nice arranging that area, but not in a way that's really going to help him. Just needed to slide past that seven, so that safety shot may be coming a bit earlier than we thought. Just held up, so nice shot. I was thinking he could have got really aggressive there and maybe try to play the cue ball into the five and kind of move the five from that area, but it's risky because he'd have to hit it at a speed where it might not have finished behind the 710. Gonna have to play a lot of spin here. I see him coming up short a lot of the time here. Yeah. Had him in a bad spot there. Yeah, he didn't have many options, did he? So, good effort, really. Got a little straight to really do really get on the five, but he can still get below the, the four ball stack and play safe on the five. Ooh, eight's gonna get in the way. Natural kick safe, the, the five is running into the 10, so he's gonna go for the jump. Try to stick the cue ball where the five is. Ball in the corner pocket. As it, if he hits this full, it's going to be going very close. If he can land the cue ball right, either just before the five ball, you may be able to hold behind the, the little wall that's there also. He's landed right on it. Always difficult. Yeah, got more energy out of the five because he landed right on it. And this really is Fu's first chance. First decent chance. Yeah. See, see how he responds. a little bit snatchy. Yeah, might have caught a little bit of right on the cue ball, deflected it a bit. Yeah, big games these for these young guys on this stream table. You know, just a little bit of added pressure, they might not be used to it. Especially in an elimination position as well. I might get him, he's gonna. Really got him where he can't jump at it. <laughs> well, 
like how he hit it. I like hitting those type of kicks with draw. Just misjudged it a little bit. Ball drew a little more than he thought it was going to. Going to make Fu a big favorite here. And this is what he needed to get back in the match. Just an easy start. Five balls left. Yep, just settle him down. Just looks a bit edgy to me. So, like you say, this is just what he needed. He's not afraid to spin the ball. Could have punched at that one as well. I like the spin play personally, but he had two choices there. And chose the spinning play. So, just what the doctor ordered for Fu. Nice, simple run out with ball in hand. After Natterberg got stuck. So now we're at 2 1. I'll just help him settle down a bit. It's always nice to get your first rack on the board. Sure. <coughs> Especially if you're feeling nerves. Yeah. You gain confidence as you do good things. Just to give you an idea of the strength of the juniors field, Joey Tate, who plays in men's events and does well, didn't qualify for the final eight. So a lot of great players in this field. And actually, Riku Rompin, did he play in the tournament? Didn't play. He might be under 17, that's why he's in the other division. But you have a couple of players that are playing in the junior tournament and many men's open tournaments. Nice long backstroke there, went at it. Flipped one in the top pocket. See the one. I feel like he can pocket, or it doesn't pass the six, so he's gonna play safe and push the one to the other side of the six. Well, is he looking to play this off the six? That'd be very aggressive. Oh, wow, that's did. aggressive. <laughs> Maybe because the three and the four are tied up, but wow, that's. That's really pushing the boat out. Yeah, I felt like you roll up safe there. Would have took touch, but I think it was there. Fu ideally would like to get into the 3 4 here. I feel like he can with some left right spin. Can you run into the 7? So he's made the two. 
There's nothing easy here, maybe. Combo on the four. Yeah, he's staying aggressive. Safe play would be cue ball behind the seven, but if he feels like he's a decent enough favorite on the shot, he can go for it. High percentage safe, though. Yeah, I agree. A little risky on the scratch. Could take that into consideration. Yep, so an aggressive play, and he's three ball will be coming back out into the center of the table. Wow, that's a great effort. Just slightly over, overcut. Mandelberg can try to bank the three, two rails and come below the eight. Seven. That's okay too. Yeah, nice containing safety shot using the five ball. If you can see enough of it, the cue ball will be going behind the six here. Just bank the three up table, focus on the cue ball. Jumps available, but the seven's in the way of the combo. I think you gotta try a three ball combo. Yeah, no hesitation. Jump sticks out. Hit the right side of it, but overcut it. Who's going to have the first good chance in this rack? Oh, just let the three get away. Needed a fuller contact on that four. That's got a big pocket down as we're looking now this left corner with the 10 ball for the bank pretty good nice hit gonna be too thin here though Close to a scratch in the corner, I think. Yeah, Wait. just just low enough, maybe. If he plays it firm, it definitely is. But if he's right. rolling it, I think he's okay. Yep, looks too thin for the cut, so up behind the six, I feel. Oh, is it, is it this thin? Way too thin. Yeah, yeah oh, he was he focused. A good cue ball. <laughs> Minor just edged him. He was focused on playing the second rail there and made him hit it too thin. I do like playing the second rail, but you got to take control of the five as well. Yeah, first thing on that shot is get that five ball on that back rail. Should have been nowhere near the corner pocket, really. I'm just gonna make sure he comes lower that side pocket here. Grab the cue ball. Don't play it too firm. Played it nice. So after a bit of a shaky start for Fu, he's back level at two all.
Yep, to all. We're just going to take a minute's break. We'll be right back. Back to two, food to break, race to seven. On the side once again. That felt like a much so more solid break than yeah. the previous one. <clears throat> yeah, got good ball separation there. Almost made the one. One got kicked over to the corner. see the two only the edge of it nothing easy that's why he's going to play a push out I think you could tempt your opponent into trying to pocket the two here just get a little bit more edge over distance Does try to pocket it. There's a small chance the eight and the ten could end up as blockers. Very tough shot, though. Yeah. Didn't didn't take long for Nadenberg to put Fu back in there. Caught it the right way. If you're not going to make it thin, you'll be happy with that. Don't know if it's just left an edge. Looks like it from our camera angle. I think that three ball's a big ball here. Yeah, can track the cue ball towards the three. Nicely played. Distance is good too. Great shot. Gonna have a jump here. Long distance jump though, very tough shot. Again, good effort. And looks to have got away with it a bit. To see how the two lined up to the five. There's always a, a roll up behind the five. Just roll the cue ball, make sure the two catches the rail. Well, he's used the cue ball has caught the rail, so that's good. Has to use the side rail here. So difficult to judge because the cue ball's so close. Closer the cue ball to the rail, the harder it is to judge that angle it's going to come off at. Yeah, he'll take that. Looks like a rail first with spin here at play if he wants to play it offensively. Defense is bat banking the two past the seven. It's actually not on the rail, so kind of turn away from going rail first. Looks like he's played. 
played this very well. Played it with a touch of left spin just to keep that cue ball on that left hand side of the table. want to go at this ball two rails but it looks like it's coming up short so he's going to try to spin it that's a smart shot yeah very nicely played common safe that comes up a lot. Amateur players, when you're playing safe, you have to develop the skill of being able to hit the ball very thinly, because a lot of the time that's not gonna move the object ball. If the object ball's already in a safe position, you can just kinda keep it around that area, and move the cue ball away from it by hitting it thin. It's called a side, I think, but it, I think I like to Catch this two ball half ball. Yeah. Split the split the two balls. But again, there's a lot of traffic to get behind. A lot of obstacles and he's managed to do that. I'm not sure if he can get in behind the two. I think two he levels. can. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be trying to stick it here. calling it in so he has enough to make it so finally a break after some good safety play he actually has to kick at it still can't really go offense here choice of playing the cue ball behind the three or tracking it down towards that six seven nine wall personally would play the, the behind the seven, spin it round. Yeah. Whenever you have more than one ball to hide behind, you want to favor that type of area. Yeah, just one thing to note, still got to make sure that two ball comes away from the corner pocket. Yeah, it happened to him twice now, yeah. Yep. Tim's barely going to get a rail here, but he's good. Well, this is an offensive power up here. I feel like he'll go for it. Let's try. Moved a bit on it, which is very typical of shots like that. Sort of threw his arm at it a little bit. Lost the technique. So after a long battle on the two, we have Fu coming out with the best of it. Yeah, and after an edgy start, it looks like he's really settled down to me. Played a few nice kick shots there. Looks less edgy. Next play there. A lot of balls to go through to get back up table close enough to the four. Did that well. When 
the centre of the table is good. Spinning those two rails out between the ten and the eight and back into the centre of the table. Good nice speed control yeah, there. Lovely speed. He's in good line now. <clears throat> Stop shot, nice angle. Like I say, it definitely looks more settled now. Nice pace around the table. Personally, I'd have liked to add a little bit more angle on this eight ball. Yeah, it's going to be a little further from the nine than what he would have wanted. Yeah, just, just sort of got to, now he's got to force this a little bit more than he would have. See there, he's punched it more. Played it very well, though. Yeah, good shot to get back closer to it. This 10 ball for Fu to take his first lead of the match. He's played well to come back so far. Three two after an edgy start. And looks a lot more composed on the shot now, doesn't he? Yeah. And these are the kind of spots where if you're Foo or if you're any player winning multiple games at a time, like you have a chance that you, you have your opponent reeling a little bit, you know? Like there's not much between them, but the momentum's on his side. He's got to try to really roll him over here, right? It's not always going to happen, but be aware of it and don't be afraid to you know, just keep going with the momentum because there's spots where Sometimes you just win seven in a row and you win the match when it was supposed to be a close match, right? Yeah, that's a winning attitude. It's what you need. No point sitting there in your chair thinking, right, I've got a nice little lead here now. Yeah. You just start, you know, don't throw any, you know, don't just play safe. <laughs> Don't throw everything at it. Yeah. But sometimes, when, like you say, you've got that momentum. Go with it. But it's Nadenberg to break. So he will have the opportunity to get in between that momentum. from the side, but bridge and on the table. You yeah, actually don't mind this. You can kind of get more power from the bed of the table, and you still got a shot at making the one. Haven't seen many pros hit it like that, really. Followed the cue ball, though. Shane kind of likes that break sometimes. It's a tougher one to execute, but even the fact that he's trying it shows that he believes in his talent. Rack's lying pretty good for Fu here. Very good, really. Two of the in-between balls are right near pockets. Got in his ear there. Yeah. Won't be too used to playing with a shot clock. 
the outside tables here don't have shot clocks so just something to note and again just just slightly got away should be okay playing this in the side like powering back all the way for the side on the six Maybe even two rails forward. Yeah, me personally, one rail with right spin, mm -hmm. straight down, straight back up. But there's always more than one way to play a shot, and it's personal preference, really. The thing there is you try to avoid using inside spin when you don't have to, right? Yeah, yeah. to do played it very well and reasonably straight on the six so I think you can just follow through and bump off the side come back across for the seven yeah that check spins not still not grabbing on the cloth as much Typical of new cloth play. Players just have to keep that in mind. Yeah, just a note, when you play that shot on new cloth, you have to play the shot a lot softer for the side spin to grab. The firmer you play the shot, the less it'll grab. Yeah, it's actually counterproductive. Yeah. It is, yeah. Gonna be bridging over the 10 here. Got a, he's tucking in, making sure he knows he's gonna be close to it regardless. <coughs> Decided to go for the ex extension. Just gonna be draped over that 10, so he wants to be as far away from it as he can. Yeah, we'd like a couple more feet on that. Cue ball's going to be travelling here, so I've just got to keep an eye on it. You always want to play this shot with a touch of left spin. But if you do that and catch the rail first, there's always a chance that top corner pocket's waiting. Mm. First miss in about four games there. Yeah. Get a replay, but just a little bit snatchy on that one. The cue ball swerved back into the object ball, kind of spun it a little too much, caught some swerve on the cue ball. I suppose after missing it, it's not a bad result. It's not about as good as it could have gone. Yeah. What are you doing here, Eric? Four rails in the corner. Attack. Two, two stroke at four rails in the corner. <laughs> no, I, I'm not sure. You, uh, you could thin off it on the left side, maybe. You can't really play the 10 up the middle. It's too close to the rail. That's a little negative that there. I mean, I understand he was in a tough spot, but it's just really negative to play side rail to side rail like that. I mean, Best case scenario, your opponent just plays you back where you were. Tough spot, tough roll for Natterberg, but he's got to look to turn it around now. 4-2 for Fu, four on the trot. Tyler Steyer tried that four rail bank in the Moscone Cup this year near the end. I don't know if you remember. I've seen Darren try it in couples once in a big tournament. Because when the cue ball gets on an angle, like that type of angle, and the object ball's too close to the rail, there's really there's not there's much, much to do. Yeah, you've, you're limited, very limited, aren't you? But Steyer tried it right near the end of the Moscone Cup on four inch pockets. He got pretty close. 
not that he wanted to. He just recognized how bad of a spot he was in. And I remember the teammates, it was a very similar shot to that, but the object ball was a little closer to the pocket. And Skyler said he should have just cut it to the right. But Tyler decided to go for it. Anyway, back here, 4-2 lead now. That's four in a row, actually. Okay, first open chance for Natterberg in a few racks. Yeah, first two racks, we had clear chances and ran them out both times, so and sat down a lot though since. Small position window here. Float the cue ball to the middle. Maybe three rails forward, come a little more into the angle. That's a good shot, smart shot. A little straight. Yeah, and slightly hampered by the five, I think. So he'll be shooting down on the cue ball. You can see him bridging over the five. Hit. Needs a bump. I think he got it. Cue ball's pretty close to the 10 to be jumping, but he must think he's a strong jumper if he's going to attempt this one. Wow, it's just really close. Shot. Shot. And controlled the cue ball absolutely perfectly. And a bit of yoga in the shot as well. Look. Yeah, he was nice. stretched over the table too. Nice, just nice. Didn't want to be near that seven, but that's good. A little too much angle here. Might have to draw the cue ball into the nine, but it's very doable. I can draw back two rails. Yeah, yeah and now he's pushed the nine ball where it is. He doesn't need to get too close to the eight ball. Probably wasn't much need for the inside spin there. Well, yeah, I could have took the longer shot on the eight. Ooh. Tough miss there. He's going to have to really regroup to get back in this one. Fu can't wait to run these three out now. Jumped out of his chair then. Spins it down to the 10 nicely. You can see Natterberg's flushed a little bit. He's, he's feeling it. It's understandable. These are the spots where you gotta dig deep and just give yourself the best, ch best chance to come back. going to take his break and we'll take a break as well and we'll be back soon.
Just waiting for the opponent to return here. The women are down to the quarterfinals. Gonna just find the bracket here, one second. Che Yu Cho is playing Cheska Centeno. Allison Fisher against Wei Tzu Chen. <coughs> Excuse me. Rublin Amit against Han Yu. And Sylviana Liu against Kelly Fisher. So you have six Asian players and two Brits in the final eight. Those matches are going to be at 6 p.m. local time. Lots of good action left on the day today. Yeah, it's just not rolling Natterberg's way here. Fu can make the one. Full table layout's a little tough. Yeah, when he cuts this, he'd like to avoid the traffic with the cue ball. Come down and back up for the two. Cuts it well. Nice shot. And avoids the traffic. Nice. Can draw the cue ball between the 5-7 here and take a shot at the three in the long pocket. I feel like it's worth it. Tricky shot, but cue ball's traveling the right direction. Doesn't have to force anything. Bit of a draw on right. Yeah, and if he gets it right, it could be a rack winner, so go for it full blooded. Thin enough to make it here. Yeah. If it had got a fuller contact on the seven, it would have been ideal. Good save. out he's got Nadenberg in heaps of trouble here okay so he's called a nine ball hoping to make contact with a three and send the eight that's a good effort good contact yeah tied up the five nine a little bit There is room below the nine. I feel like rather than trying to break into it, I, I would go for that play, but he's backing off for a bit here. Cue ball's gotta be tight to the rail though to pocket the five if you do go that route. Contact doesn't want to flick off this five. Good shot, hit it with speed. Gave himself a chance to kind of get lucky. Paid off. Mm. 
Another decent shot there. Played the three over to the traffic area. Wonder how wired the three is in the side. That'd be pretty aggressive, but tempting. Yeah, he's calling it. Always looked low, didn't it? Yeah. From our camera view. Tough to slow the cue ball down there. He got a big roll off the point. Cue ball's going the wrong way to get properly on the five, though. Is he playing the cue ball behind the five? Oh, he's got the double kiss. Okay, so just to mention, the 10 is not a win. If he does make the 10, he continues shooting, but you would think he would carry him this. Because of the rules, he might not. Interesting thing here is the 10 is kind of blocking the track to get right on the short rail so I have to play over into it or kind of bend the cue ball around the 10 a bit that's a that's a touchy shot there played it well yeah it looks like he's there can get to the angle I think yeah definitely can might have to play with some right spin, which will track him into the 7-8, but if he can play it with straight high, he's good. Shot. Contacting the five first, but you can see by the slow motion replay there, he did. Pretty strong set from Fu overall, indicative of the score line. in very first rack but since then it's looked very comfortable actually winner of this match is going to advance to the final eight finally it's going to be a single elimination and there's a world title on the line here so these players are going going all out 10 goes in puts Fu on the hill We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.
And we're back here. It's a juniors qualification match. Carl Natterberg was up 2-0 and Fu Huan has come back and won the last six games. It's a race to seven. down but no shot on the one I think he has the right edge of the one he can create some distance cue ball is kind of running into the six Probably could play it thin enough that he gets above the six. Yeah, you feel like thinner would be better. I know he's going to be near the side pocket, but there's not really much on. If he catches this thicker, the one is going to come out into the center of the table. Yeah, it looks like he just doesn't have quite enough of it, so he's going to play the push. Yeah, the seven as well, hampered by the seven, doesn't make that shot easy. I think it'd be easier than this one. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be giving it back. Didn't think about it for very long. Trying to kick and stick here. You can tell Natterberg plays with a lot of talent. I feel like he just has to harness it, you know? Wei Su Chien, you can start your practice on table three. Tries tough Sylvia shots, Alou. tries creative shots. Kelly Fisher, you can start your practice on table four. Yeah, and he did play the shot very well. A little bit unlucky to catch the knuckle. Yeah. Hasn't really made many mistakes. I mean, no, he, you no. Know, he just missed the eight and can't remember a couple other small ones that aren't always going to happen. Just ran into a tough opponent here. It's not over yet, though. Just got him in a bad spot here. That's a bad roll for the one not to open up. But Fu might have hit it regardless. It's going to come two rails at this ball. Bank on the one, but the cue ball's not really traveling where he'd want to be on the two. Could cut it in and possibly run into the two. Call the an offensive shot and then change his mind. It's probably a good decision. Two rails just before the side pocket. Well, he's gone one and made it. Oh, wow, great shot. Nothing easy with a two ball, but yeah, it looks like a safe here. Maybe bank the two over by the six and try to track the cue ball inside the three. Running into the three a lot of the time there, though. Oh, 
off angle combo here, but I feel like I might have a go at it. A couple of times we've seen him move a little bit when he's power, hitting power shots like that. It's always debatable whether they moved because they, they knew they missed the ball or if they moved as they were hitting it. I mean, you can't move as you're hitting it, but <clears throat> overall, just want to look for staying down through those type of shots more, forcing yourself to stay down whether you miss or not. Ball's tracking just before the side here. It's going to lead in a natural position for the four. Nice shot. Great shot. Cheated the thick part of the pocket there to slow the cue ball down. Didn't like how the cue ball was coming across to the eight, so chose to draw it. It's a good shot. See, he's even getting into a bit of a rhythm now, you know, he's, he's confident. Yeah, different player from the first rack. Striking the ball very crisp. Solid player. Look for him to be a threat going through to the final eight here. Yep, and I feel it will do him good as well to have had this experience on feature table as well. For sure. Moving forward. Perfect on the nine, so looking very ominous. Okay, guys, we're going to have a bit of a break in the action. And we'll be back at 6 o'clock local time for the women's quarterfinal matches. This is Eric Horlison for Daryl Peach. We'll talk to you guys soon.
The following players can start their practice for the six o'clock round. Lina Primus, Jolien Schurman, table five. Sofia Mast, Mina Tani, table seven. Wang Min Zhou, Hong Xin Yu, table eight. Savannah Easton, Lina Halmonstrom, table six. Rubil and Amit, Han Yu, you can proceed to table two. Cho Chae Yu, Jessica Centeno, you can proceed to table one. 